Good morning, y'all. It is currently Monday, the 18th, the first day back from spring break. It's 8.40 a.m. right now. And welcome. All I have today is actually just one class and fun for meeting. So, yeah, it's a 9.30, so I gotta go soon. But first, I'm gonna catch breakfast. Okay, guys, just got out of class. Oh my gosh, that was a thrilling lecture. I learned so much about graphs. This is a way to graph. Yes, yes, it was. It was absolutely wonderful. My hair is pink. Yeah, mine looks terrible, but yeah, the gray skies are really beautiful today, and uh, I must say, are yes, the flowers, <laughs> the tanwas are blooming. Ah, uh, oh my gosh, Kathy. Oh my gosh, it's actually freezing, but. I'm, I'm currently headed to the eatery for some more breakfast, actually, because I'm starved. And then I'm heading to my global experiences meeting because I need oh, to I'm prep for, yes, I need to prep for my study abroad in Korea and Brussels and DC. Isn't that thrilling? <sighs> awesome. Okay, this is honestly kind of awkward because I really don't know where to go right now. <laughs> I have about an hour between right now and my office hours that I'll be going to because I need help with a lab for computer science. But honestly, like, I also just don't have to do that lab at all. <laughs> So, we'll see. Okay, also it's literally snowing right now. It is March 18th again. I'm back in the dorm. I feel a little dumb because I didn't realize my professor's office hours were only through Zoom. So there was no reason for me to be staying on lower campus anyway. Also, the line for Chick-fil-A was so long, which I honestly should have expected. Anyway, I'm going to start talking about things that I wish I knew before coming here. I am currently a freshman in computer science and... It's actually crazy because I genuinely still feel like a high school sophomore and I actually posted a TikTok about that. So if you saw that, then one thing about college is just straight up like nothing really is like structured anymore at all. Like truly, like I just had one class and a meeting today and I have one class every Monday and now it's just like. I basically have like free time. If I'm being honest, life here is so much easier than it was in high school. You really have to decide like what you're gonna do with that. My one friend is trying to get challenger in League of Legends. <laughs> a lot of people will also contribute a lot of time to partying. That being said, I think it's good for them, the people who go, because they're like, they had they came in with an idea of what college should look like for them. That's also another tip for me is that 
I didn't come into college like having watched a lot of movies or read a lot of books about what college would be like, like the college experience. So honestly, for me, I just didn't know what I wanted to do. And something that I really recommend is watching a ton of movies and figuring out like what you want your niche group to be. Honestly, I wanted to, I want to join a K-pop dance group. Um, that could be fun, but coming in, like if I had known, like, geez, like I really want to be hanging out with like these people that do club swimming every Friday or something like that is going to help you a lot. Now, another thing for specifically engineering and computer science majors, it is so different. The programs that there are. Um, specifically computer science versus computer engineering. If you're wondering what that difference is, engineering is usually going to take up a lot more of your required credits. So that means like, for example, here at Pitt, if you're in computer engineering, you have to take like a bunch of sciences, a bunch of math compared to computer science. I literally am done with math. That also means there's a lot of different computer science programs across different schools, I really recommend looking at what you want here at Pitt. Just Calc 1 and Linear Algebra is honestly, I'm pretty sure like really like sparse of a math requirement compared to other schools, which I'm personally really thankful for because I would like to do something more related to like front end development, more like um product even or something similar to that or even design we'll see how that goes i am just a freshman after all but if you're not looking for that then i think that schools like pitt can still be a really great choice because obviously you can take more math i know people going for the math minor here at pitt but just look out for that it's also really important to see like the different schools and ask about how different schools interact within every like college that you plan on going to for Pitt specifically i was really shocked because there's the dietrich school of arts and sciences there's the school of computing and information etc like i'm currently in sky school of computing and information and it's honestly kind of strange at times for me to have to like go to different advisors in different schools i don't there's pros and cons to it is what i'll say it's just sometimes can feel a little disconnected that being said it is honestly nice too because you get to meet so many people like i literally went on like a whirlwind tour of like all my advisors uh one time because i had to like get my ap credit in oh my god i actually just saw something crazy on instagram so pitt is actually going to be hosting candace owens i've heard so much about her like online but that is very controversial so okay so i accidentally just spent like 35 minutes on tiktok which you know it happens i forgive myself but you know, this is a good thing because now I can record myself and make myself actually productive and actually go to office hours. Absolutely enlightening session once again. Thank you, professor, for that. I It actually did help. Oh, also go to office hours. You know, all teaching assistants do have office hours as well. I actually am a TA, by the way. All right, so for now, I'm just going to spend a bit more time on this lab. Hopefully I finish. After I finish this, I am going to get Chick-fil-A, hopefully. Oh! <laughs> Life is so wonderful. I guess I'll also speak a bit on like grading and like culture here. Uh, so in the School of Computing and Information, I honestly don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll say that being a TA has honestly been really cool because it's like you get to meet like these people that are super like 
smart and like into like computer science and like enjoy like teaching or just want money kidding about the last one um so i feel like honestly i'm getting like into like the computer science community here which is pretty cool um because i don't know like i just wasn't expecting that competitiveness like i don't know like some people like it's really hard to say because some people find like certain classes really hard but i genuinely feel like taking ap computer science in high school with a really good teacher in my opinion shout out to her um honestly made me pretty prepared for computer science here i'm off to push this back to github and then we're off to chick-fil-a yes say it again oh my god teach us japanese girl yes okay i'm so good teach Truly, I've just been loitering around for the past 40 minutes. Um, didn't have the best sleep, so I'm forgiving myself. But Loki, this vlog is like helping me because now it's like I have to do something or else this vlog is just gonna be boring. So I'll probably go to the gym later. So we're currently in that Monday type of day. Like truly having one class on some days just makes you feel like you don't have anything to do. Not like homework wise. It's like you feel like your life has nothing to do. And I feel sick. That was a lot of Chick-fil-A. For the vlog though, I must continue on. Hopefully I can edit this video into something that's actually entertaining. Third fit check of the day. I'm gonna do my project now and we'll see where I end up. Welcome to the floor 10 lounge. Yo. Look at that view. Isn't that beautiful? Um, sunsets like usually around over there. Straight up, I honestly think University of Pittsburgh should be known for its views because I didn't show it in this video, but the view from the cathedral is actually wild because I don't know what other place has such a huge height disparity between <laughs> one building and like everything else yeah okay let's get to it talk about oh my god talk ah. about That has been my day. I'm just going to brush my teeth and head to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed. And also, if you have any other questions, then feel free to leave them down below. I will definitely be doing a Korea and Brussels, Belgium vlog uh, sometime over the summer. And in the meantime, I'm thinking about posting just a bunch of random other stuff, honestly. But yeah, and thank you for watching.